Hey everyone. We now have one last noir for the month of November, and that will be the 1951 film On Dangerous Ground, starring Ida Lupino and Robert Ryan. Now, Detective Jim Wilson, Robert Ryan, along with his partners Bill Pop Daly, Charles Kemper, and Pete Santos, Anthony Ross, are hunting down a pair of cop killers. Now, Jim is getting increasingly frustrated, and when they find one of the killer's accomplices, he really roughs them up to find out the location of the killers themselves. Now, the next day, Jim is summoned by Captain Brawley, Ed Begley, who warns him to cut out the rough stuff, as the accomplice's lawyer is threatening to sue. Now, later that night, Jim and his partners are cruising the streets when they find a few thugs beating up a woman. Jim catches up to one of them and starts to rough him up before being stopped by one of his partners. Now, Captain Brawley is less than thrilled to hear about this and assigns Jim a murder investigation in a more rural, rural area up north until things calm down. Now, Jim drives up north and he meets up with Sheriff Carey, Ian Wolfe, who directs him to the Brent family at home. Now, Jim tries to find out what he can about the girl who was murdered when her father, Walter Brent, Ward Bond, comes in and makes everyone stop talking. Now, they receive word that the murderer has been sighted and they all go off in pursuit. Now, Jim ends up with Walter, who is less than thrilled to be stuck with the city cop since he wants to shoot the murderer himself and they borrow someone else's car when the murderer steals another one. Now when the snow really starts coming down, they end up crashing, not far from the car that they were following. On foot again, they find a lone farmhouse. Inside, they meet Mary Malden, the Lupino, who tells them that nobody is there. Jim quickly realizes that she is blind and tries to be kind to her. Now, they all both quickly realize that she's not the only one who's been there, and she tells them that her brother, Danny, Sumner Williams, also lives there, but is not there at the moment. Now, Walter doesn't believe her, and he, along with Jim, start looking around outside. Now, Jim comes back in and learns from her that her brother is there, but he has a mental illness. She believes that her brother should turn himself in, but to Jim, as Walter is angry enough to kill her brother. She's able to convince Jim, and he tries to promise to keep Danny safe. Before anything else can happen, Walter comes back in, and Mary offers the two of them a place to stay overnight. In the morning, Mary sneaks outside the storm cellar where Danny is hiding and tries to convince him to go along with Jim. Now after she leaves, Jim stops her and Danny decides to make a run for it. With Walter hot in their heels, the question remains, as much as Jim has come to care for Mary in such a short time, can he manage to save Danny or will Walter's thirst for revenge win out? Now the movie On Dangerous Ground was based on the novel Mad With Much Heart by Gerard Butler. Now, director Nicholas Ray came across it while he was working on another project, and it was submitted as something for him to work on later at the RKO Studios. However, some of the readers there didn't think that it was suitable for filming. Still, producer John Hausman was able to secure the rights for the story, especially when actor Robert Ryan expressed interest in the role. Now, there was some discussion with the police departments in Los Angeles and Boston who were pleased to see the idea of police violence treated openly. Now, originally the film's ending was supposed to be a bit more of a downer, but actors Robert Ryan and Ida Lupino were able to convince the director to give the movie a happier ending. Now, I've only had the opportunity so far to see this movie twice, but it is one I have enjoyed seeing both times. I'm really impressed with Robert Ryan's performance here as a cop going bad. We see how, unlike his partners who have a life apart from their jobs, he takes his work home with him 
and in so doing gets more and more of a bad impression of the world, which is really not helped by all the people complaining to his face about what the cops are doing. We see him getting bad, and we also see the police captain trying to sweep the problem under the rug by having him go elsewhere. Quite frankly, that back idea almost backfires on the captain, with Ward Bond's character complaining about oh, Jim being a city cop as he seeks his own vengeance, while old Jim does very little to stop him, at least at first. It only seems to be luck that he meets Ida Lupino's Mary, who gets him to soften back up and be human again. Now, Robert Ryan isn't the only good actor here, as everybody does their part well including director Nicholas Ray's nephew, who Sumner Williams is Danny, whose actions seem a little too relevant today, especially to the many women who complain, and rightfully so, about men wanting them to smile to be more beautiful. Now, this movie is maybe not my absolute favorite noir, but it's a good one, and I certainly would recommend it. This movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Warner Archive Collection and is 1 hour and 22 minutes in length. Now before I sign off, in case you're wondering, since I've been reviewing noirs for the month of November every Sunday for the last few years, and yet as I said before, this is the last one I'm reviewing for this month, even though there's one Sunday left, my plan is to start in on the Christmas holiday films starting next week. Because if I don't, I would otherwise only have about three Sundays to work with in December before the holiday itself. And since it will be past Thanksgiving anyways, I figured I'd start in and still get in my four films for the year. Anyways, thanks for listening, everybody, and I hope you'll keep tuning in for more.